Hey guys, basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We talk a lot of fun stuff about podcasting, technology, etc. And uh, we really love for you to join us in those conversations. So today I want to talk about something that happened. Something happened this weekend. Uh, actually, a lot of things happened this weekend. It was everything from pro wrestling to beer pong to a startup jam happening uh well, Saturday night and extended beyond that. Now, I had the opportunity to attend the um, Startup Weekend Civic Pittsburgh event. Uh, how I got involved in this is a very interesting way. First, I caught wind of it because I was actually asked to be a mentor. A mentor. Right. A mentor for startups. Uh so, uh, first of all, thank you very much to uh, Vivian Lee Croft over there at uh, New Sun Rising for, for thinking of me in, in, in this case. And uh, I was definitely a little concerned because I'm like, who am I to mentor? Which I'm sure anybody in this position is like, yeah, has the same kind of thoughts. Uh, but uh, I guess I, I guess I guess somewhere. Uh, but anyways, uh, but no, I, so I got the mentor. And of course, being part of now uh, Work Hard Pittsburgh out there, uh, the hard, former hardware store up there in Allentown, uh, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, uh, you know, I got to hear a lot going into this event happening. So I was like, yeah, okay, you know, I'll go down, check out the uh, Friday night event, which is kind of the opening pitch fest and everything. So here's how it lays out. And this is a startup weekend, actually, is a pretty massive event. Google backs it, a bunch of big sponsors. Uh, there was a slide that came up said, you know, there were startup weekends happening um, uh, uh, in like 10 other cities uh, across like, like Charleston, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina, wherever, uh, somewhere in California and South America and these other countries and stuff. So it's pretty big deal. And I think they have these like pretty much every weekend somewhere for the most part. Uh, but in the, like I said, the, the focus was civic. So it's like, these are ways that you can help Pittsburgh. Uh, we started with a great talk by, uh, the woman behind, uh, I'm going to off the top of my head, Lori Mixler. May I, I hope, I think I got that right. We're going to find out. I hope I got that right because I want to get her on an interview for some chats. So, uh, but anyways, uh, no, talking about the data and what they're doing with Pittsburgh. And if you haven't followed, uh, we're we're opening up a lot of data in the Pittsburgh area. Not we, I mean with the, the Bill Peduto and all those people. Um, and uh, and it's really cool because we have stuff like we have a snowplow tracker, so I can see if it's, they've been up my one way street uh, over here, and if I can get to my house, and uh, you know, do that kind of thing, and. Uh, you know, open things up so so you know trash pick up and it can be text to you. I mean, those are the kind of very superficial things, but to solve other problems like water waste removal or, or cleaning and stuff like that, uh, very exciting. If you live in the city and you're like, good, somebody's taking care of these things, and we can make some really innovative, cool things have out of this. Uh, great to hear her talk and really kind of set the tone of the kinds of things these people have access to and the kinds of th problems these guys can solve. Uh, so they were encouraged uh, to uh, to. Uh, Friday night uh, to to pitch their ideas. A lot of them had ideas already in the making. Some of them had stuff kind of partially started, and maybe we're looking for other people to help them push their idea a little bit. So, and there's even pitches where somebody was like, "Hey, I was in the back." eating some awesome Caribbean food from down the street that catered and uh, came up with this idea. And there's about 11 pitches overall. In the end, about seven groups kind of joined. A few of them dropped off because they realized, hey, uh, this is going to exist anyways. We, real we don't really don't need to be part of this competition, etc. And uh, the next morning we convened uh, as a mentor uh, and uh, I got to hang out with my buddy Chris Whitlatch from down at the Pittsburgh Foundation. And... Uh, I was really glad that I went that first night, so I got a little kind of base of who these companies were, and uh, they paired us with with groups that apparently uh, fit what they thought our um, um, core strengths were as mentors. And I ended up with a group uh, that ended up being called Kind Card. Uh, this guy had uh, already had the idea; he wanted a card to do a pay it forward kind of thing. Think of the Where's George when you look up the number and you kind of see where that's been. So, so. The idea is you have this card. It's got a unique number. You plug it into a website that partially works right now. I had a pretty um, skeleton um, WordPress kind of set up right now, but it wasn't very searchable or useful in that, but people could get in there and post it. It existed. He already has the cards and, and really didn't need that a lot of money to really get this thing going. Excuse me. 
you know, uh, just development was the biggest thing. Uh, and, uh, it was a really cool idea. So basically you, you, you get this card and, uh, when you do something good for somebody, the, the standing example is, you know, give somebody a five dollar Starbucks card at Starbucks to pay for their order. You know, just like, Hey, just an act of kindness, right? You want to make Pittsburgh the kindest city in the world or, you know, something to that effect. And then you pass the card off along with it. You find out how that person before you got that card, if they imported it in the website and you get to put in how you received it and then pass that on to somebody else. And you can hopefully track these wherever they go and what kind of acts of kindness were attached to this, this card. Really cool idea. Um, not like massively life changing, neighborhood changing, but just kindness and it was a really nice just a nice idea and a really cool concept around it um not an idea that's not out there in the wild as it is it's another take on it and that's awesome um other groups and, and just looking at uh the groups that are the top three here um a kind card of course made number three and it was really cool i actually sat down and watched the uh the stream from uh, last night's uh, pitch session so these get the, the t also the teams that were gathered uh, around these pitches um they kind of recruited people um based on their pitches and based on the people that were there on friday night uh so developers marketers um i don't even know what all were there as far as people's talents go and even that they were still using looking for team members like, like the group i talked with they were still looking for a ui ux designer which is a user interface user experience the, the people that make your website kind of work for you uh you can tell i could probably use one on my on my websites um sometimes for circuitron media but anyways uh it's just me doing it i'm not i'm not a ux expert but i know a little bit of design that's about it uh hey video is my thing this is my thing you know but anyways i digress um and they got number three and it was really cool to watch that stream and one of the judges was somebody from uh giftcard.com which is a local company I've run into a people here and there that actually work for that company. I can't remember who they were though. And uh, he's he's actually interested. Obviously, you know, gift cards. This thing, um, it, it kind of it kind of connects a little bit, and they can he can maybe help make some things happen, connect them with some people. You know, kind of that Shark Tank kind of feel to things. It's for real, guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's kind of like I've kind of made comments before about you go to Alpha Lab Demo Day down here that is now being held at uh, Stage AE big event you see the pitch and then they go meet off with investors and you get to see these awesome ideas that are just on the verge of fruition right or maybe they're already started a little bit uh and then you go watch something like silicon valley and you see the tech crunch pitch fest uh kind of thing that they have um and and you're like wow that's actually kind of how it is and no i know exactly what they're making fun of and you hear that a lot in, in san francisco actually a really good conversation with somebody about what it's like in san francisco and Going to a party where there's a school teacher and not somebody that has a tech startup is really rare and weird, right? But anyways, <laughs> uh, so Kind Card did number three. It looks like they made a really cool connection there. Uh, one that did not make it into the top three and can't remember the name of them right off the top of my head, but they were trying to gamify empty lots in the city. So, hey, I got one right next to me, and it's invading my uh, my space as far as all the vegetation and stuff that I'm unfortunately allergic to as well. Uh, you know, to kind of uh, push that idea and people that want to invest or at least pretty up these things, um, you know, get some efforts and say, hey, it'd be great if this vacant lot over here gets some attention and maybe they put a tree over here or something, and that helps bring up your property value, helps bring up the neighborhood, etc. cetera. Um, even that lot uh and uh and it seemed like a really cool idea i think technology wise is very heady because his idea was making a farmville for empty lots in a real city uh and i feel like there's a giant technological disconnect there and, and i don't know about engagement but i love the concept and again using gamification which is like kind of a buzzwordy thing but really really interesting idea and i'd love to see if it, it, it gets anywhere um from there so third place was a, a kind card uh second place was fulfilling the promise uh this guy i don't never remember anybody's names but that's uh you know this thing not just not working for me uh but this dude he's he was really passionate about this if you're not familiar pittsburgh promise is about uh making a certain 
point on your GPAs and attendance and everything if you're in the city of Pittsburgh to get scholarships. And uh, and that data, it's so hard for a ca- somebody with a caseload of 50 kids or you know the parents and everything, by the time they're able to get to it and check in and uh, get into the system uh, to check on the kids, a lot of times it's too late and they're already off and they're not going to make it. And uh, they're hoping to push that information to people uh, the kids, workers, you know, whatever it is, uh, so they can catch them before they fall through the cracks. Really cool idea. Just kind of optimizing the data that seems to be already there. Uh, and, and they got a lot of energy and it was really cool to see, um, that get somewhere. And one of the best ideas I think of the weekend is the other one. I think this ended up being involvement and I'm hoping I'm connecting the dots right on this. Their team grew. I think they absorbed some of the other teams that kind of dissolved over the weekend. Um, but they're looking to uh, kind of uh, give credits for volunteerism. Um, and uh, it, it's kind of you know, like when he described it, it was sort of like, it felt like it was sort of like, um, it felt like carbon credits to a certain point, if you're familiar with that concept. And I'm only mildly familiar with that idea um, where you get to kind of spend those volunteerism points over here. Um, not your, not that you're spending them on, on, on items. It's like you are dedicated to do an X volunteer work or the company dedicates for X volunteer work. And now you have a list of things to, uh, uh, to go and figure out where, where you're going to volunteer and it all kind of comes together. So again, kind of just kind of a network that, that connects that some missing pieces in there. Um, all together, it was really cool to be part of something like this. Um, and not just kind of observing as I am, um, at alpha lab, uh, demo days and stuff. Um, and, and again, something that really kind of flew under my radar typically, um, I always feel like that the the work that I'm doing is kind of in a different space than a lot of these are. Um, we're not crazy an innovation company. We're not building something. We're more just doing, uh, creative work in what we're doing in our, um, um, you know, uh, you know, creative, uh, media space, uh, at Sorgatron Media. Um, but, uh, but you know, I'm just a big fan of this because love seeing the innovation, love seeing these great ideas come together and, um, you know, looking at some of the familiar faces here, hopefully I'll see some of them get built right beside me up there at work hard Pittsburgh. Uh, so really cool, really cool event. Um, if you're into this stuff, go, go poke around the live streams. Um, they're kind of giant, massive, long things, but you'll find the talks if you poke around their YouTube over at work hard Pittsburgh's, uh, live stream. Um, I'm sorry, on their YouTube page, uh, just go to workhardpittsburgh.com. You can follow the breadcrumbs from there and just look for the stuff for the, um, the, uh, startup weekend civic Pittsburgh. There's a, there's a, um, a, an opening night thing. And then there's a pit, there's a, the, uh, actual pitches, uh, for the judges and, uh, have fun with that. And, uh, if you, if you like any of those guys, if you kind of their names, you can find them on social media, find them on LinkedIn and you can help or know somebody that can help them, um, hit them up hit them up and then and or at least just say hey great idea love it can't wait to see what comes of it uh so really cool to see that be a part of that see the vibe here in pittsburgh and talk with some people about some of the vibes going on around pittsburgh otherwise because I, I was talking with a few uh a couple of cmu students about stuff that's coming up and uh and, and it's just really cool and, and just other people that have worked around the space for a long time and uh again people that you know, saying, you know, hey, I've made a lot of stuff for a while. Now I want to make something good. I heard that from a couple of pretty, uh, pretty active people. And uh, that was really cool. So uh, go check that out. And uh, at SW Civic PGH on the Twitters, there's a lot of pictures, retweets, comments, etc. over there. Uh, thank you again for having me uh, uh, as a mentor. And uh, it was really awesome. You want to check out more things going on around town? We got some stuff, lunch and learns happening. Uh, you can check that out over at Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com, or our Facebook page for Sorgatron Media. There's some links there to buy your tickets, nuts and bolts, learning how to podcast. How does this microphone work? And what the heck did I attach it to over here? That stuff and more to kind of dism- demystify that hardware so it's not a big hang up for you. And of course, evening with pod- pod camp talking about podcasts with Buzzy of the Epicast Network. He's around all the time. I was like, let's have a conversation in front of people, in front of cameras. Why not? That, so much more. Great stuff. Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This has been Basic Sorgonomics. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.